Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new here. In my last video, we talked about how to get crystal clear water. Check that video out. Today we're gonna to talk about how to do a fast and easy water change using a Python. Very simple, gonna tell you all about it. Let's go. Hey guys, so we're gonna do a water change using the Python. Before Python, we all had to haul around really heavy buckets, back and forth. That's a no-go. The Python is very simple, very easy to use. We're gonna hook one end up to our faucet, the other end goes into our tank. Python is very accessible, you can find it anywhere. It's right on Amazon, I'll post a link to that in the description below. I got it for about 25 bucks, I think it was. And I'm gonna walk you through the whole process, show you how we do this water change. I like to do 50 to 60% water changes. My fish do well with it, they seem happy and healthy, so I continue to do it. I do those about once a week. Some people only do 20%, some people do 80%. It's all up to your preference, what your fish are capable of handling, how well you are at replacing the current water parameters that you have. As long as you don't shock your fish too much and they seem good with it, go with what works. Maybe once every other week, I'll change the decor around, take some old stuff out, put some new stuff in just to get the territories realigned. I'm gonna show you what products I use during the water change and describe them a little bit as well. So let's get to it. tap water comes out a little under seven. So I do use some buffers. I use Malawi Victorian buffer as well as some cichlid lake salt. I mix these up in a separate bucket, make sure they dissolve properly um, with water at the proper temperature. And then when it's time to reintroduce the water, to add the water, I will add the bucket with these already mixed into them. Okay guys, as you can see, I did a little bit more than 50%. I did about 75, which is okay. The fish is still fine. I like to do it from time to time just to get all those nitrates out of the water and get really clean, crystal clear looking water at the end of this. As you can see, some of these guys don't like water changes. He looks pretty stressed out. So we gotta get this new water back in there quickly. So at this point, once I reach the water level that I want to remove, I need to add a dechlorinator. I use Prime. You must use a dechlorinator before adding tap water into your tank. Chlorine will kill your fish. You guys are also going to get an extra special treat. Today, we're going to reintroduce the bully of the tank back into the main tank. I like to do it at this point during a water change because the stress levels of all the fish are pretty spread out at this point. This is a good time to add a new fish into your tank so that the stress is spread while the aggression is diminished towards that one fish. Let's see how it works out. See how interested they are in him? They're all checking him out. They're wondering who's gonna control the tank now. See all the spread fins? He's showing his dominance. So is everybody else. Everyone is showing their dominance in the tank. Now we'll start refilling the tank. At this point in the water change, I like to add my pre-mixed bucket of water with Malawi buffer, as well as 
uh, cichlid salts. I prefer to pre-mix this to make sure all the particles are dissolved. Even though I was mixing it for about 5-10 minutes, it'll still show some particles when I add it to the tank. That's okay, it'll dissipate after a while. Alright guys, so that's your water change. As you can see the water looks really cloudy, that's because of the dust up and the build up of the substrate going to the water column. But I'll be back in a few minutes once this clears up. Okay guys, so there you have it. After about 30 minutes, we're back to crystal clear looking water. If you like how I did my water change, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.